Hello and welcome to this tutorial on crystal report parameters being used in CRD. A crystal report parameter is essentially a bit of selectable data that normally at runtime you would manually pick the particular values that you want the parameter to run for. What CRD can do is that you will actually can pre-select the parameters that will run when CRD has scheduled the report to actually run and distribute. There's a couple of things you need to have in mind when you're run when you're setting up a schedule to be to run your report and for it to run for particular parameters. First, you need to make sure that the report parameters are set to be prompted as in in your crystal report when you export it those parameters are prompted at runtime. The parameters will have to be visible in your crystal report and these parameters will have to be in use in your crystal report. If all of those three criteria are fulfilled then CRD will actually see these parameter values under the report section of your schedule. So as you see here I have a couple of different parameter values listed here in my crystal report that I can use. To select a particular parameter value, simply pick it from the drop down list and select it. What will happen is CRD will always run the report for the given parameter value that you've listed here. If you simply needed to change that parameter value, you can just simply log in go back and change it accordingly. Now if you're looking for ways to dynamically populate that parameter then actually you'll be wanting to look at schedules like a data driven or a dynamic schedule so please take a look at that tutorial. If your parameter values aren't listed they will not appear in the drop down list at all however you can still manually type in the parameter value if need be. Finally, how does CRD handle date ranges? Well, in your crystal report, if you have date ranges established, you can actually have it automatically pick a particular date range that you have hard coded. Just simply pick it down from your drop down list. Within date ranges, you have the option. There's a couple of different ways you can approach it. By clicking the Include Value button checkbox, that will ensure that the value you've selected in your range will be included in your overall range that you've selected. By selecting the No Lower Bound option, that means we'll select the highest level parameter and select all parameter values below the highest level. And it'll run for all of those values. If you were to select No Upper Bound, then we'll select all of the values above the value that you selected here. For all of these options, if you were to click ignore, we will ignore the parameter value altogether at runtime. If we were to set it as null, then we would put nothing into the parameter field at runtime. A little bit of a difference there. You can click on the subreports button to review any subreports. For details on subreports, you can check out the subreport tutorial. And you can click on formulae where you can review all of your different record selection formula and parse and make changes accordingly. Once you have all your particular parameters set, you can move on to the next section. If you want to learn about inserts and how to use inserts in your parameters, take a look at the inserts tutorial. Well, that's it. This is a simple overview of, of CRD parameters. Thank you very much for joining. Bye for now.